appeared very challenging. First, addiction is itself is a speciality, and it is LGBT. For the first time, it took a look at the definition, and in your the direction for the didactic lecture, it was given that you should give the uh, first slide the learning object. So first. We should look at the learning objectives so said we can go at the uh, subsequent slides. So our learning objectives would be looking at the definition of LGBT. Then actually it's a very controversial, very hot topic. Like there are hot keys in the in gadgets so there are legal issues with it there the lgbt status in india is changing like the, there there are now soaps in the tv currently which are watching this topic the sexual issues are currently hot debated substance abuse and lgbt is very hot mental health and lgbt is also very current then treatment approach and take home message is also should be there when we say LGBT, we say it is lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. A lesbian is a woman who identifies as as having an emotional, sexual, and or relational attraction to other woman, and or means may or may not have attraction. A transgender. A gay is a man who has a similar identification, emotional or sexual, similar definition. Bisexual is attraction towards male or female. So that is the it's the attraction. Transgender who has gender identity problem. And it is definitely away from the assigned sex at birth. And the transgender has been assigned to define, as in I show subsequent slides, in definite minorities, if not limited to transsexuals, cross dressers, who are many films we find, or in many serials we find that men dress as women, and subsequently as like androgynous people, gender queers, or gender males, or gender females, as we saw. Or gender non-confirming peoples, or simply we say trans for transgender. Wherever I have defined them, we are in the below. In LA, I have seen, given you the availability from sources where I have taken it. So I said as a bisexual has an emotional, sexual, and or relational attraction to men and women. A coming out process is important in definition when a person identify, acknowledge, and decides to share the information because here there is suppression of information. As we show in the later slides of the sexual orientation or the gender identity with others. That's what is the mental problems and the sexual problems. Sometimes a lesbian may use the word gay for himself, himself or herself. So when I started to search the literature in the okay, unstable. You can hear me now. Hear me? Okay. okay. When I started to hear. Uh, search the literature for Indian LGBT. I found terms like MSM very commonly. Like first was the study by Mimiaga in International STD Journal. MSM is men having sex with men, and MSM is men having sex with men oblique women. Very interesting terms came forward. Like a report is there in Indian by Thomas 2012. I have quoted well in many times in these slides. 
like a word koti comes then there are panthis and double decker koti is an effeminate characters who is a receptive partner in anal and oral sex now this is very important by receptive in later slides i have shown that in a police raid these kotis are identified very easily because they have female characters and panthis are assertive partners in both anal and oral sex double decker are both receptive and assertive Now, in hijras and arwanis are the terms. There are many terms, at least twenty, thirty terms. If you see the literature, these terms come again and again. Typical arwanis are probably used in Tamil Nadu. Other terms in English terms are like queers, drag king, drag queens. Queers is very commonly English term for genders. Like you see. The older literature, Kam Sutras, identifies a Trithriya Prakriti in sexual nature, where the person has a sexual orientation other than bisexual. An MSM may marry and have sexual relation with females and children also, so they are difficult to identify. Looking at this legal status. When I searched, the Wikipedia has very interesting information. The transgenders were given a third gender status by called Hijra or Nurs, and by the Apex Court in 2014, and they are in standing in the elections also, but. A very archaic law in 1860, IPC 377, which is very debatable also, is a lot of problems. Says that marriage or sexual activity between two people of the same sex is illegal and is a punishable offence. Again, is that the it's a voluntary carnal intercourse against the law of nature. Between two individuals of same sex is punishable by up to several years by court order. When people marry, there are same sex marriages between females also, but they hide themselves and they are punished socially. Some people later argue that it is against the nature of the Article Twenty One, right to live, which is a fundamental right, and it was changed in a. This year, in 2012, it tried to decriminalize the homosexuality, but the Supreme Court overruled it. Later, Mr. Sachidhanti, December 18, 2015, put a bill in Parliament to decriminalize homosexuality, but it was overturned. Later, in 2016, February, the Supreme Court admitted a writ to. Review the criminalization of homosexuality is a punishable offence still, but it is under consideration. Trying to review literature like Hindi, Rajasthan Patrika, in a January issue, they said there are approximately twenty lakh transgender in India. India, they were opening a particular school in Rajasthan. There are many national and international celebrities. I am going to not to name them. But then in Wikipedia, at least there are 50 names on a particular page. In an interview with Kristani transgender model, Kamis said, "A female, she dressing as a female." And the interview said that probably for the first time in March 2017, they are admitting transgenders in the consensus for a poll. The only The figure I have drawn, the trial of LGBT, I have called it. They are being actually it should be biased. There are legal issues, as we have seen, sexual issues, particularly the sexual issues interact with that addiction or the substance issues and the psychosocial problems. <laughs> The Substance Abuse and Mental Services Administration (SAMSA) says these are the few figures. Actually, 
they are probably foreign figures, but but they say whatever about this 20 percent, 30 to 30 percent rate of addiction of LGBT is greater than 9 percent rate quoted in this. This status is from branch rating in social today. Marshall et al. say that the substance abuse multiple times in LGBT youth of the National Institute of Health, half less than half funding goes to LGBT issues. This less than of 80% or 80% was spent in sex and HIV in the LGBT. Now, when studies were planned, this was given by Elaine M. Chiu for to study the issues, sex, substance abuse, and LGBT, the tribe. It was difficult to define the issue, identify the population, and locate the participant. So it's when Kothis were could be identified by the Panthis and double deckers in MGM, which is itself a sub population of LGBT, could not be identified. So this could be a type of icebergs. Now, so in a consensus, these are uh, figures from Thomas, and some figures are like from Nakto. So, quoted figure in India in 2009, JV was 0.25 to 0.39 percent, less than 0.4 percent, but for figures for MSM was 7 to 16.5 percent. Then, echo estimates the HIV prevalence of 6.4 percent for. And which there is a lower limit estimate. Now, a typical study which I have pointed out is a very actually is an abstract, which I have given you the whole thing, which I have printed is an abstract of Nimiaga MJ et al. International Journal of STD and AIDS in 2011. Off with the summary of the abstract, which I have given in red, says that 20% of the sample, which is an MSM sample. Reported taking alcohol to the point of being intoxicated, being associated with older age, being to women, being panthi versus quote, being active partner rather than being receptive, having weekly tobacco use, unprotected anal sex and unprotected anal sex in three months prior to the study on enrollment. <coughs> now, looking at the factors in the LGBT, they are a minority, they are discriminated, they have a stigma because they have to suppress their individuality, they are rejected by the family, so they have chronic stress and they have a culture of homophobia. So they are separate slide defining homophobia and bullying. And youth, they grow up. So they escape the situation by using the substance abuse. There is a vicious cycle. They meet in bar and clubs that form the LGBT community. There is no evidence-based intervention data in the country for this type of population. For this, family acceptance and tele-research programs are useful, especially for youth. If you look by the dictionary definition of homophobia, it is extreme and irrational aversion to homosexual homosexuality and homosexual people, or it encompasses change of negative attitudes and feelings towards homosexuality towards people who are identified or perceived as being less. So actually, all the data mostly. What I've seen is on MSM only. Okay. So it's a behavior, and the underlying situation and feelings are shame, guilt, fear, transphobia. Transphobia means phobia of transgender, depression, suicidal tendency. So they have to disclose and come out, and there's a pressure, a lot of pressure to confirm, confirm to the society pressures. There is fear or and loss of relationship and limitation on expression and to aspire and come out. In this Thomas, actually Thomas, it should be Thomas at all. So don't, they say from Chennai, they have reported 28% of MSM using alcohol weekly 
to the point of intoxication and they have been associated with older age marriage to a woman weekly tobacco use and unprotected vaginal and anal sex and next now national and international reviews in trials and studies have shown that brief alcohol interventions not long last and reduce overall level of consumption of alcohol which is the main use or drug of abuse and harmful patterns breaking the future drinking problems and patterns and reduce healthcare costs and when you control the drug abuse because we have seen there is a tetrad when you drug abuse is a substance abuse is reduced hiv prevalence also comes down because the behavior is interlinked next similarly stigma has to be controlled in the society because it is related to negative self image low self esteem depression increase sexual risk behavior and decrease use of hiv prevention services when we use unprotected sex there will be low self esteem and the stigma and discrimination will be there and aids in epidemic will be already increasing in this population on an interesting theory which has been put forward by at least two or three papers which i saw known as clearly defined by center of disease control cdc prevention center it says two or more afflictions interacting synergistically contribute to excessive burden of disease in a population now in this problem lgbt and addiction what are these problems they are substance abuse depression intimate partner violence partner violence and hiv also the social ecology in which these conditions exist so now in an example given or taken from bone chapter 3.3 the in this resource uh, reference the a um, the year has not been given on the net but the drugs commonly used and by their common names have been the msn commonly are amphetamine cannabis name, name like by mary jane dope but these dr- uh, names are mostly in the west hashish or hash weed puff grass cocaine you know is commonly used in india when it is combined by some other way with speed balling is there crack cocaine is hard coke super strength cocaine crystal methamphetamine is again super strength amphetamine next next please sir then ecstasy is there mdma we call it then have the ketamine lsd ephedrine then in a study where i have taken a slide where we they measured the level of drug abuse among respondents in asian mnsm internet sex this surveys from china india and other countries where they measured the percentage used in last 6 months of stimulant drugs so that if that's the previous one sir so it ranges from 1.8% to cocaine from 28% or 8.1% for the ecstasy next one now when pattern of drug use in msm is study it is found that it is typically episodic it should be with big e with weekly or monthly use then daily use so they are not drug dependent and they are more when it is partying socializing or when seeking or having sex so it is more in the period of stress or uncertainty there when hiv is diagnosed process of coming out is there period of depression or anxiety is there and also msm is or not a homogeneous group so when these thing can be 
identified we can quickly help them and diagnose them so drug also have a help in diagnosing hiv so they help them fear escaping fear of rejection and negative self perception next sir. now there is something known as non substance addiction which is known as compulsive sexual behavior pathology gambling compulsive internet use compulsive spending now the last three are not well are well defined in dsm 5 and all that we are more interested in first which is known as sexual thoughts urgent behaviors that are normative and which are repetitive we are in one person is engaged in a frequency intensity that leads to distress or impairment so there is dysfunction the examples are compulsive masturbation phone sex dependence pornography dependence ego dystonia promiscuity sexual chat room dependence now the percentage ranges i mean anything between 18% so now when we start to treat the lgbt there are some general measures which are taken from reference sources one is word of mouth like any doctors becomes popular when one patient is treated and goes to one patient goes to another doctor uh, patient and says that this one is good so though they are people who are doctor become lg friendly lgbt friendly like i when i went to one site of a famous hospital in bombay and found there were list of lgbt friendly doctors in the intake form of your hospital you can show the relationship status as partner and transgender public intersex options so the lgbt can fill them and that could be kept, kept as secret poster and brochures can be depict lgbt do not separate them from the patient this yes, is the next now there is a very good guideline that crisp in 2006 Known as gay affirmative practice, GAP. He has said, he has said that don't assume that the client is sexual. You have to, you assume that he is a normal person. The homophobia, that is phobia of the homosexuality, is the problem, and not the orientation. The gay and lesbian should accept the orientation. Work with the client to decrease the internalized homophobia. the home with a fear which has become part same slide sir please creates the problem coming out theories which you see later in the nieces coming out are the problem deal ones own homophobia and the heterosexuality as ones come out next so again programs have to be built which are friendly to the msm factors like socio cultural norms that challenge the msm complex identities psychosocial issues sexual behavior patterns condom use simple things and risk about alcohol and substance use should be understood this again thomas 2011 next now police attention when it comes now this again slide again refers to the kothis who are immediately caught as they are very female but panthis and double deckers hide so this again there is common problem mental mental health and psychosocial problems which affect this proportionately the ms population and are part implicated in hiv transmission risk behaviors interfere with the uptake of hiv behavioral interventions next slide so we have seen the syndemic theory and syndemic conditions like depression substance abuse and violence which occur with the msm should be taken up of the cocktail like the lightic cocktail or the cocktail prevention 
should be put in mechanism and traumatic life pressure substance abuse and internalized stigma steady hiv should be addressed when dealing with the lgbt population so that is specialty intervention area next we have to know what the part drugs play when mitigating the social unease facilitating the social and sexual contact motivating the men or women to identify their identity and decrease the harms the drugs play next slide so this is known as the nissan three phase model for recovery from shame there are many many ways we can see it is one of the one identified way shame is something when we don't consider it is normal so the in phase 1 there are three phases for nissan's three phase model the person has to break the silence he is the silent person who is suffering he has to come out the lgbt people should get hard come out and be with the people around them be part of the general population next now they also say what should the counselor do they should facilitate the client discussion of the suppress suppress lgbt feelings the lgbt there is lot of suppressed internal pain there should be emotional spending of that painful identity how much the client has tried to change himself to adjust also should be seen by the counselor readiness negative feeling of self blame sickness and shame in the cbt should be done and help the subject to come out so be the first part of the phase second part is the perpetrator now the perpetrator is the society and that is the prejudice and prejudice is like a stereotype form of the lgbt so the counselor should help in managing the anger brought in by the society help the subject accept negative self image which is created by the self and the society counteract life experience of the heterosexualism which is normal and homophobia which is transform uh, problem with the homophob homosexuality and provide relief by the counseling and the final phase is reclaiming personal power, power. now this involves three types s or c self concept self esteem and self confidence here the counselor should facilitate clients self concept and self efficacy the self image also and improve self efficacy change negative cognitions images remaining shame should be released develop spirituality a very important aspect we have seen how religions limit this develop comprehensive self identity and connect to others and develop good support network that will fill it now these are the few point for lesbian and gays when which come in the treatment when we deal with them they are the first the several stigma and stressors stressors related to sexuality identity and substance abuse these are issues we have seen earlier when we deal with lesbians relations is our major therapy focus for all there are common issues relapse to protect themselves from painful feelings of their sexual orientation there is a idea to go in back in the shell for gay men linkage between substance abuse and sexuality is important men are more prone to abuse the substance there is internalized homophobia feeling negatively to homosexuality which is internalized as there is a shame sexual abuse and violence is also important now there is limited sexual outlet like bars where there is a lgbt community is seen so this is like end the presentation and next to slide i have given the references where i have taken the material next slide sir next to slide i have given the references and i thank you all to listening positively to my presentation